The Suncoast offers many choices for an aging population, including assisted living and home health care. But there are few options for adults with disabilities. ABC 7's Alex Redman joins us now with how The Haven is providing a home and careers to adults with disabilities. Alex. Thanks, Haley. We are all living longer thanks to medical advances, but one concern of parents and caregivers of adults with disabilities is what will happen to their loved ones if they're no longer around to care for them. Mackenzie Holland just had a birthday. I had a barbecue. <laughs> At the Haven where she lives. We do activities and all that. And works. I work in the kitchen. I cook for the little kids. She has epilepsy, which has been under control for many years, but she also just has developmental delays, significant ones, enough so that she's very vulnerable. This is Jimmy, and he has lived at the Haven for more than 25 years. Both yeah. his parents are gone, but he feels like it's family yeah. here. Like many parents of children with disabilities, Holland's mother, Kelly Askerud's number one question was... Where will my child live? Where will my child work? And where, where will my adult child be able to, you know, contribute and feel self-fulfilled? Community Haven, now called The Haven, serves around 700 children, teens and adults. Um, ranging from people that need total care and wheelchairs, and then also people that may have autism or Asperger's that can hold a community job, but just need a little bit of extra support. People like 56-year-old Alfred Lanier, who works on the green crew landscaping. I come every day to work, and then sometimes, and sometimes we have art, but we off this Friday. And Adam Carmona, who lives with his parents. Well, I was told I was autistic, high functioning, and I do learn but I learn when I see things. Carmona holds several positions, including one on the culinary crew. I feed the babies, the preschool kids, which they bring so much joy. Also, when I get here early in the morning, I deliver. Mike has been living at the Haven for two years. His parents planned ahead. His mother now deceased during construction of the house that they built over my shoulder, the greenhouse called Jacqueline's house. Uh, latest project we're really excited about is we're breaking ground on Haven Industries building, which is going to be a uh, 7,500 square foot warehouse um, for people with disabilities to work and uh, earn a paycheck. The Haven's continued growth, says Askerud, allows her daughter to also grow. We wanted her to have a social life that didn't involve two old people. So we wanted her to be around her peers and to really be as independent as she could in a safe environment. Runners, walkers, and wheelchair racers will participate in the Haven's 2016 Jingle and Jog 5K Run and One Mile Walk. That's this Saturday starting at 8 a.m. You can join me because I'll be out there judging, representing ABC7. And to find out more about this, you can go to health at mysuncoast.com.